Hey, what's up guys? Lindsay here. Got Sideways number two. Just want to give a quick shout out to all the new subs. Appreciate you. Uh, I want to do a lot more funny, analytical videos like that. But I'm also going to do some regular stuff like this. So, get ready, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's get into this thing. Let's look at this cover. We've got Gear Man. And we've got our boy Sideways. Our boy Derek. Which is... Still, he's probably the only superhero who's named Derek. And then we've got, I don't know why this guy, look, the villain looks like a cat to me, but he, he's a cat, man. He's a kitty cat, man. And his scepter is made out of Tetris blocks, which is, I'm so glad we're finally finding a use for Tetris blocks. Because did you know that over 95% of American and Russian landfills are Tetris blocks? Now, this cover is like super weird because it looks like two covers. It looks like they had Kitty Cat Man and then there somebody went, oh, we should we should probably have our hero on the cover as well. And then they just sort of layered it on. I don't know. It just looks, I feel like just get him out of here and we can have something good to look at. Now, I'm going to skip the first page, but because a copyright god, she's a fickle mistress dog. We found out that this guy's name, Kitty Cat Man, is his name is Tempest Fugonaut, which wow. I buy that that name's villain. Derek is a superhero? Hmm. Actually, you know what? Derek as a name sort of works out, because if, if your name's Derek, I'm just going to assume you've never done anything heroic in your life. So that's a great cover. Shots fired on all the guys named Derek. So we'll get into this, and we see that ooh, Kitty Cat Man Tempest is not about what Sideways is trying to do. He's disrupting sort of the space-time thing continuum. I, I know the word. I don't know why I said thing. And, of course, Derek says, Great, another parental lecture. You should meet my mom. You two have a lot in common. I just like how casual it is. He's literally hanging out the side of the building, and so Tempest replies, Silence! Yep, just like my mom. That's what I'm liking. That's what's Peter Parker about this guy. I'm into it. And he's all trying to be very menacing, and our boy Derek hits him with a, Hey, I can tell you really enjoy your work, and I love to stay in chat. But you know what? You're a teenager. You gotta, you just, you gotta get, you get the fuck out of here. And, but, he tries to, what Sideways does is he does this thing with his finger, and he rips. He doesn't, his power isn't called going sideways, boys in a daze, shout out to Paul Wall. No, nah, it's just called rifting. But it turns out that Kitty Cat Man's scepter, his Tetra scepter, nullifies Sideways' ability. So he can't rift out of the situation. So he does some, it's almost like a total G, but it's also just like, oh, he's a dumb teenager. So he goes with plan B, and he just begins, we do this. I don't know, I don't think, I don't know if I'm a fan of this. I know... It's easier to draw things this way, but it just totally takes me out from the perspective view. There we go. That's better. So he just immediately free falls out. He says, I saw a guy, I saw a movie once, a guy p was pushed off a building, and the way, and the only way he could save himself was by catching on ledges. And of course he hits those, those damn gargle buttresses that are on every building ever built. And also an American flag. I feel like all buildings in America, no matter the floor, should have an American flag on it. No question. But he's getting beat up and you know what I pictured? I picture um, the movie he's talking about, which isn't the movie, but there's a Jackie Chan movie. I think it's First Strike. He literally, Jackie just, it's a bis like a building that's like a 45 degree angle and he just literally slides down it. Because, you know, Jackie Chan can do that kind of shit, and it's dope. And so he's trying to slow his descent by, you know, just hitting anything jutting out of the building. And he says, I thought since it worked in the movies. And then finally he gets far enough away from uh, Temp Tempest's Fugonauts, Tetraceptor, so that he can finally rift out of the situation. And he rifts... Yeah, I gotta skip a couple pages, dog, but it's not that interesting, so you're not missing a lot. He 
uh, rifts into a lake that we saw in the previous issue. Because he's still getting a handle on his power, so I'm sure he's not even thinking about where he wants to go. He's just like, uh, wherever is not death, I would like to go there. But he hits a lake, and of course, that's the... <laughs> if you go... You remember he's in free fall, so he's got, I got a lot of velocity, and he just bam, just would smack into the fucking lake. Oh man, that it's not gonna feel good, but everybody knows, the higher you jump off of a cliff, faster you go. If you survive, you're the coolest guy for the day. Not for all of time, but for the day. So eventually he, um, well, he hits the lake and he's just struggling. Oh, uh, you know what? That would have been really weird if in the second issue of a brand new hero, he just drowned. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that would... That'd be a really somber issue three, I would guess. Probably wouldn't sell a lot of copies. So, he eventually ambles out of the water and he riffs to his friend's house. Yeah, here we go. He rips out of his friend's house and he's just like, uh, my new friend tried to kill me, fell off a building. And she's like, okay, Ernestine, which, wow, that is, I've never encountered a woman or a man. Well, except or, the Ernest, but I mean, the Ernest, wow. He's a celebrity. Okay, you can deal with this. Pass out superhero best friend, nothing you can't handle. One thing at a time. And that's sort of that, like quasi cool teenager speak but you know what whatever so she calls a thing called a carber which is essentially an uber or a lyft or whatever and she's putting him in there in his costume i don't know how many times i gotta express this shit but nobody is trying with their secret identities i mean come on look at the clothes she's wearing he you totally have stuff that can fit our boy Derek here it would not take too many steps to be like, oh yeah, what's that that fair I had? I'll just digitally look up who paid for that. Boop, boop, boop. Now I know who Sideways is, even though he's not even a real hero yet. I figured it out. That's why we can't have real superheroes, because people could just, if they just thought about it for ten minutes, they could be like, oh, clue, 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 boop, boop, boom. I know who it is. I'm just saying, have a little respect for your uniform. It's brand new, duh. Come on, get it together. And then we see, we see this. And... Um, he he says, but I barely understand what just happened. That creature, the Tempest Fugonaut, what did he say? The power to mend and defend. Defend from what? And this is some. Come on, this whole thing is he's like a Spider-Man. He's a Peter Parker that we because we don't really have a Peter Parker right now, or we do, depending on who, if you ever watch this. But we say that's obviously. You can't tell me that's not a symbiote. You cannot tell me that's not a symbiote. And and it just, just just obliterates a duck. Are ducks hated? Are there people out there who hate who hate ducks? I know DNC does doesn't like geese, but that's because geese have attitude problems. I've never had a problem with a duck, but it just gets completely fucking destroyed. So they end up at the Gotham City Hospital, and his costume over here is crumpled up in a corner. And you can't tell me that that girl. Did this woman didn't see that? Come on. And they're trying to explain away his bruises, which are plenty, and so his friend just gives the ultimate current year cover. Derek's trying to be a YouTube star. And you know, failing oh shit, I can I can relate to that. It got too real. And so the doctor says, look, I need to get in touch with your parents. And of course, Derek freaks out because he's a teenager at the hospital. He's got a lot of things going on. And then, boom! Just, damn! Just, wow! She just showed right up. He can't what? Run tests or contact your mother because I have some bad news for you. Derek! She's already here. And she is me. Now, if you didn't see the first issue or read it or whatever, gotta know that his mom... They're not actually... She adopted him. So, she's, she's, she's like overcompensating hardcore. She's like mom squared with her amount of overprotectiveness. <laughs> overprotectiveness. If I could speak, that'd probably be pretty damn good. And then, she turns full mom and says, 
How can you do this to me? I'm at work and get a call that my son's in the hospital? Do you have any idea what that's like? Yes. Make it about you. You know, I'm making fun of the writing, but that's... That's how moms are. Every single one of them. And he's just like, cut me some slack, you know, I'm injured. And he's like, how do you even know I was here? And our girl Ernie, she, she contacted him, and her head just says frog. What? <laughs> um, okay, yeah, just notice that. You know what? I mean, I can't make fun of her, because who, who doesn't like frogs? There's so many types. Some are even poisonous. Some can kill you. But whatever. And so, and then she turns up a full gear and just goes, oh, crazy, and just starts hugging him. And then, of course, this is him being in the hospital is a little bit tender for her because this is the second time he's been in the hospital in, you know, like two weeks or something. Because Derek's tie-in to Metal, which I haven't read any of, is that some shit was going down and then he fell through a mountain and nobody knew where he was for like a week or something. And then he reappeared and he could, he had powers. Falling through a mountain? That's some pretty cool stuff, but everybody at school treats him like... He's got super aids, even though it's like, hey, that guy fell through a mountain? Let me talk to that guy. Everybody else? I only am friends with people who fell through mountains, or fell off of mountains. A lot of my friends are dead. So she has a lot of flashbacks about how when he initially disappeared, she just hit the ground running. She searched everywhere, every hospital. She was just, like, going crazy, and eventually she did find him, which, I mean... Obviously, because they're, they're here. And, um... So, I mean, yeah, I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so, if the doctor says that he needs to be kept overnight because his injuries are super bad, and his mother agrees, and he wants no part of it, even though when he was in the hospital, he was in a coma, so that's like not even being in the hospital. You don't know what's happening and if when you're in a coma is what my understanding is. So he tries to get up and prove that, you know, he doesn't need no damn hospital. And Ernie catches him and they have this charged moment where they're both just staring into each other's eyes. And I just realized that normally the uh, the guy catches the girl. Did some gender swap shit right here, guys. Wow. Also, it's sort of funny that, of course, they have this charged moment because they're literally... The only two characters who have had any sort of... I, I mean, of course they're going to be. Of course. They're a guy and a girl and they're best friends. And they're the only two who have had any sort of character development at all. They're destined to bang. So he wants to... He's plotting to, like, break out. But then, a, then some... Well, wow, the hospital just starts wilding out. And we see this woman, which... Look, I know, I know that this is the basic template for a lot of the shitty characters in comics right now. A black woman with short hair. I don't really, as long as she's a cool character, I, I don't really care, but she's kind of corny, dog. And she says, isn't this cute? I spent months trying to be admitted, and now you won't let me leave. Which is like, oh, she has mental problems as well? Let me uh, run on down to the office and check a couple boxes so some people are asking what happened and we see this guy this guy oh she's also shot i forgot to mention you have no idea how fast she is that's why my gun stays drawn you know what will probably help you help you make these shots is if you uncross those eyes homie i just and also i feel like he's a second away from calling someone massa in a really submissive way it's just like you know what just Alright, dude, your shot just improved about 50%. And you find out she's as fast as lightning. It was lucky that they even got her. And she snaps out of her restraints. And she says, My speed heals. And my speed kills. You know, I gotta tell you, girl, I hope your mixtape has better bars than that. Because that shit is weak. So she starts just going crazy. And I just want to, I just want to show this pose. I just want to show this pose. This bitch is talking to the doctor, and she, it's like she had to develop scoliosis to hit this pose. And it's like, hey, you're trying to be menacing, 
and you're trying to do some Instagram posing on here, it's like, come on, girl. You're breaking your back. You're blowing your back out and trying to be menacing. I'm not afraid of you. So, you know, I just reel it in. Just reel it in. It's just was so just like jarring. Like, I don't care about female characters doing sexy poses, but that was just like, god damn, guys. Ugh. And so she says again, my speed kills me. But I'll so use. So I guess the more she uses her powers, it kills her. I call myself Kill Speed for a reason. Kill Speed. I don't know about that name. You know what, but comics, they can be, be a little hokey sometimes. Kill Speed is not the worst name I've ever heard. I think I've actually seen a movie called that. Or I'm thinking about a really bad movie called Exit Speed. Whatever. Kill Speed, it ain't great. But it ain't, it ain't, ain't so bad. So Derek, his mom, and Ernie, they're just like, uh, Derek's like, oh, I gotta, I have to do something. My mom's here. This girl that I've probably been secretly in love with for all of time is here. I gotta do something. So then he confronts her while wearing his panties. And, uh, he calls it a costume malfunction. She says, you got a busted arm, a whole lot of bruises, and no pants. How are you planning to stop me? How about we step outside and I'll show you. Now, that's... I wish they would have showed this in the entire front. Like, I know it's funny. I know teen boys wearing panties is hilarious. I can recognize that. But his, his mask is dope. And I just really would have liked a frontal view of him wearing the gown. I just feel like that would have been way cooler than this and if you if you look at the preview for issue three holy shit it's like one of the worst covers I've ever seen but I guess you know this is gonna be his villain I re I want this to work I want it to work so I'm definitely getting issue three I mean we're, we're, we're world building here it's a new age it's a new age of these side hose whose speed kills him, but it also kills you.